Hey guys, now I don't really know where I'm going to go with this video. Oh, the camera's already wobbling for a start. Let's stop that. Are you still yet? Yeah. Are you still? Okay, I think you're still. Um, but I occasionally like doing these videos where I just sit down. Let me get comfortable for a minute. Let me sit on my foot. Don't know why I find that comfy. Um, I occasionally like to just sit down and have chats with you guys with no editing. I'm trying to lock my phone. Lock? There we go. With no editing at all and just having like a raw chat. Raw chat, that sounds weird. By the way, by, by I mean raw, I mean like, like I'm already tempted to start again and edit, but I'm not going to. Um, you guys get, you guys know what I mean. I did one with Louis in 360 recently, and you guys seem to love that. Um, so I just asked on Facebook what kind of topics you want me to talk about and what, what stuff you want me to cover. Uh, and obviously, I'm not some advice guru. What I say might be a load of rubbish to you, it might help one of you, and if it does help one of you, and it literally nudges you to do one thing that you weren't going to do that you want to do or something along those lines then this is worth it even got like pauses to to have a drink and i'm not even going to edit those out um, i've made some notes today on what i'm going to talk about i just asked on facebook and uh, one of the most popular things was confidence as well as what was the exact word in let me just see your tweet Got it on my lap. Uh, you'll let me see your Facebook comment down here. What keeps you motivated to keep going and keeping your head up? That's from Kyra or Kira. And that's 62 thumbs up. Um, so today I thought I would answer those ones. And the other one, the confidence one, was from Moza or Moza. Sorry, it's hard to pronounce some of your names. Um, or I don't just know, I don't know which way you pronounce them. But um so I've written a few notes and I've decided to split that into two different categories. Now with being motivated, you've, you've, you've got two different options, I see it. One is being motivated to do something that you love. Now the other is motivated to do something that you do not love doing. For example, if you do not like science and you have a science exam that you have to sit for it fairly soon, then you're gonna have to revise and you're gonna have to be motivated to, to revise that topic that you don't enjoy to be able to do well, which you have to do. Um, or the other option is being motivated and staying motivated in something that you love doing, which is obviously gonna be a lot easier. But I just thought I would give you guys some tips and some advice from my experience of how to stay motivated and confident in those things. Uh, yeah, that is about it. So let's start with something uh, that you have to do that you don't love. So one of the easy ways that I've always found of staying motivated and doing something that I don't love um, is setting goals, like very, very clear goals from the start. So for example, if you have to read this entire booklet here by the end of the week, then divide it by pages and give yourself an amount that you have to do, like a realistic amount. Like make sure these goals are realistic because there is nothing worse than failing a goal that you thought or you assumed you were going to be able to achieve because that just sucks. So make sure that they're realistic. Um, and obviously, if it's something that you don't like doing, then that's even more important because you're, you're spending your time doing something that you don't enjoy doing. So the last thing you want to do is fail after spending your time doing it. So make sure your goals are realistic. Like maybe the way which I used to do that with revision for some topics that I didn't enjoy so much, I would revise 40 minutes then have a 20 minute gap off, then revise 40 minutes, then have a 20 minute gap off. And I do that like a couple of times every single day. Or I tried to anyway. I wasn't the best at revising, but I tried. Um, setting goals, eliminate distractions I've got written down, which is very, very important. So like I said, you've got to, like with the 40 minutes, there's no point being like sitting here on my phone being like, oh, okay, I've only got 25 minutes left. Do that question, do a little bit more. like. You've got to properly work in the time that you set yourself to work. Eliminate all the distractions, and if that means, this sucks, I can't even speak. If that means putting your phone on airplane mode, or giving it to a parent, or giving it to your friend, and I'm not just talking about revising, I'm talking about anything you love doing here. I mean, that you don't love doing here, and you're working on. Uh, get rid of all the distractions, because you're just wasting your own time. You may as well just have the time off and enjoy it, if you're just gonna be distracted the entire time. Uh, like if you're sitting in a classroom or a lecture hall or whatever you're doing or a work meeting and you've got to listen to to learn the thing and you're sitting there on your phone or you're talking to your friend, realistically, you're not listening. Like you may as well not be in the room because you're not taking it in. 
So you're probably better off just doing something else instead if you're literally not gonna listen. So if you're taking the time to go all the way to class and sit in the classroom or go all the way to the meeting and sit in the meeting room, the, like, the smallest amount of effort you could possibly do would just be to do the work because you've already got there. So yeah, do that. That's a good one for the start. Um, be confident. You've got to be confident in what you're doing. There's no point yourself from the start being like, I'm gonna fail this science exam. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I have to do it. Because you've already told yourself, you've already set yourself up to fail. If you prepare to fail, fail to prepare. Because, wait, I just said that wrong. If you, if you, <laughs> this is the thing with no editing. If you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That is the right one, guys. If you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That's the one. That's what my mum used to tell me when I was younger. And I'd be like, Mom, I've got a blooming English exam tomorrow and I haven't done enough revision. She'd be like, well, did you prepare yourself? And I'd be like, well, not, not nowhere near as much as I should have. She'd be like, well, then prepare to fail. Like, realistically, if you fail to prepare. Um, yeah, so be confident in yourself. Tell yourself that you're going to do it and believe that you're going to do it. Not just tell yourself. Because if you're putting the work in, you want to succeed. So just do it. Even if it's something you don't like, we all want to do well. We all do want to do well. Whether you say it or not, I'm telling you, I know deep inside, even if you revise 10 minutes and you tell yourself you're going to fail, then why are you even revising that 10 minutes if you've already told yourself you're going to fail? Um, make it fun, I've put. Try and make whatever you don't like doing as fun as possible. And even if that means having to give yourself a reward like eating a chocolate bar every hour you revise. Okay, maybe not eating a chocolate bar every hour you revise. I'm not, I'm not saying do that, okay? I'm not saying do that, but I'm just saying give yourself some kind of reward. You've got to. You've got to make it fun. Like, if you enjoy drawing and you've got a science A-level exam coming up, then blimmin' draw the molecules and draw, like, everything out. If you enjoy... Painting, paint them out. If you enjoy using a computer and spending your time on your computer, then do the revision on the computer. I don't know. Just make it as engaging as fun as possible for you to do whatever you need to do. Um, and I'm not just talking about revising here because I know that some of you are watching this won't be revisers. Some of you may be adults. I'm just talking about anything in your life. If you've got to do something you don't like doing, try and make it as fun as possible. Even if that's working in a shop and you hate working in that shop and you've just got to serve boring customers every day, make it fun. Challenge yourself to put in like funny words. Like whilst you're serving people, set yourself a list. <laughs> set yourself, you and your friends who are working there, like a list of words that each of you have to put into the conversation with the customer without them realizing. Uh, like you could be serving somebody and you have to say the word pineapple three times without them. I don't know. I don't know. Make whatever you're doing fun. That's very important. And take time off is my one of my last points on there. Uh, time off. But we've already spoken about that. Saying that I used to take 20 minutes out every 40 minutes of revision. Um, now, if you're doing something that you love, this is obviously a lot more easy. Um, I put down here my first bullet point is spend all of your spare time doing this thing. If you've already found something, 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 something that you love doing, I'm getting a dry mouth for a minute, that you love doing and you love spending your spare time doing, then bloom and do it all the time you possibly can. And that doesn't mean whilst you're meant to be doing things that you don't like doing. Do those as well. But all your spare time, follow that passion and just put all your time into doing that thing. I can't express that enough. The amount of people that I speak to that are in jobs that they don't enjoy, but don't spend any of their spare time working on things that they do enjoy, trying to make that their job almost, is insane. Like, I, I speak to so many people that are like, oh, I work nine to five and I absolutely hate it and I understand that. I've worked jobs before that I don't like and I know I'm very, very, very fortunate for this YouTube thing to be my job and I love it so much. But I put, for example, all of my spare time, all of my spare time I had during school and college and whilst I was working in a retail shop, like a clothing shop uh, in town, I put all of my spare time into making these videos, just hoping that something could come from it. And I didn't even know when I started it could be a job. But if you love painting, or if you love skateboarding, or whatever it is, kayaking, or 
filmmaking or drawing or creating music, put all of your time into doing that amazingly, like absolutely amazingly. And you never know, honestly, one day that could be your job. Like that's realistic. It's not unrealistic. It may be hard, but it's not unrealistic. So spend all your time. You can't sit there and say, I really, really want to be a painter when I'm older and I want that to be my full-time job, an artist. And then you work nine to five and then in your time off, you don't bother painting. You just enjoy doing it and you want it to be a job, but you don't bother practicing, you don't bother doing it. Spend all your time doing that and get amazing. It like, life is like a big competition almost. Like, if you don't put that time in, you've got to think somebody else will. And somebody else is gonna snatch up that job who wants it just as much as you, but puts in more time than you. So you've got to put all your time into doing that thing that you want and make it, I don't know, you guys get what I mean for now. Uh, I said set goals as well. Because obviously you've got uh, you've got aims, you've got places where you know where you want to, what you want to be, what you want to have. Um, so set yourself goals so that you can feel that along the way you're accomplishing things whilst you're doing what you love. That is amazing. That there, there's nothing better than achieving what you love. Be confident in yourself. Again, don't doubt yourself. Don't think, oh, but this won't ever be my job. Say this is going to be my blooming job. This is going to be what I do. This thing that I love doing. This gaming on my computer, I love it, I'm gonna be a video games tester when I'm older. I'm gonna do that, like, that's it, that's all that's in my head. Even though I have a job now that I don't enjoy, that is gonna be it, and tell yourself it's gonna be it, and do it. Um, this one is super, super cool. That I, I was recently um, on a talk with a man, I'm not sure, you, you most of you probably do know who he is, called Melvin Bragg, and he said something like, that really, really stuck with me in that talk. And I don't know if you realised, like, at the time I was like, I love that man, that is amazing. Um, but it really, really stuck with me. And it was two simple words. Actually, it was like five. He said, during his talk, and it was a talk on confidence we were doing. He said, fail, 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 and fail better. And that... that that may just sound like really simple to you, but that really, really stuck with me because it really pushed the idea that even though you're failing at what you want to do, you can still fail better than how you failed before. And that is very important. So every time you fail, it doesn't matter that you're failing. Then what matters is that you're trying, but fail better than you previously failed. And I think that is just awesome. Failing better. I don't know, I, that, that's just stuck with me and I know it always will, I think that's sick. So the, the tiny chance that you're watching Mr. Bragg, thank you for saying those words around me because it's stuck with me. Um, and the last thing I put on here is challenge yourself. I think this is really important because even though you're doing something you love, it's easy to just slip into like a false sense of like security that like, oh I really enjoy doing this, but you've still got to push yourself. You've still got to work your butt off. Just because you're doing something you love doesn't mean it's any easier than doing something you hate. That doesn't matter at all. You've got to push yourself as much as you would as if you were doing something you hate and just go for it as much as you possibly can. Set yourself goals, challenge yourself, and yeah, I, I don't know. I, don't really, I, don't, I haven't thought about how to round this up at all. Um, and it, this, this talk, well, I say talk, like I've done a professional talk. This little rant, this chat, with you guys, um, isn't about revising, it isn't about school or college, it's not about making something your job, even though it may sound like that, this is about anything in life, like, I don't know, relationships, like if your relationship's not working, working very well, you can't expect to just get better, like put time into doing it, um, that sounded so bad, I meant put time into making it better, <laughs> like the relationship, um, yeah, I don't really know how to end this. That That's about it. If, if there's any other topics that you want me to talk about, guys, let me know in the comments. This might have been a pile of rubbish, and I'm sorry if I've wasted how long? 14 minutes of your time. I'm very, very sorry. But even if this has helped one person pursue a passion and a dream and put the right, eff put the right amount of effort into it, and I don't know, you guys know what I mean. If this has helped even one person change their mind about something or work on something that they don't enjoy harder than what they're previously doing, then that is worth it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, 
you guys know what to do. Give it a big old thumbs up to let me know. Let me know some other topics in the in the description bar. Let me know if there's anyone that you'd like me to do one of these talks with. And don't just say Zoe because she's my girlfriend. Um, I've done three, two or three of these talks with Louis. Uh, you guys know Louis. Fun for Louis. Um, because he's just really, he's a really, he thinks about things on a very deep level. And I love that. I think I'm a lot deeper than what people think I am as well. I think about things very deeply as a person. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if there's anybody else that you'd like me to do one of these talks with. Maybe like Marcus on health. Um, like health and eating and working out because he's obviously like transformed his life from like me, an average Joe, into being some fitness health man, which is awesome. Or anybody. I don't know, anybody, in any, even if it's like my mum, anybody, my grandma, actually I don't know if I'd film a video of my grandma, but yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I'm sorry if I've wasted your time, but I hope it's helped at least one or two of you, if not more, and let me know what you guys think as well in the comments, have a little talk in the comments between you guys, I'll read some of your comments, I might jump in and join the conversation as well, and yeah, hope you just enjoyed this excellent little video, I'll catch you soon, goodbye!